Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll tell you all about how to get involved in this DraftKings thing. Uh, Monty, today I wanted to talk about, I've been hitting the ball very nicely. My scores are, can't complain. One thing I'm concerned about is my divots are very steep. Yeah. yeah and I've seen this with other players and even in like my wedge shots and, and everything, it's just, and I know that if, if we had the foresight out here, it would be very down, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, what are some of the, the basically, it's uh, how to fix deep divots will be the name of this video. I mean, it's real simple. The people that have deep divots are just, well, there's the moving the upper body forward. That's a big one, but that's, mm -hmm. you, you know, that's, that's a pretty obvious one. Yeah. Get, get, stop that, you yeah, know, right, that yeah. one of those things, okay? Yeah. But in better players, you see too many good players that the hands pull down yes. and look at how vertical that shaft is, mm -hmm. okay? And it's counterintuitive. To get, to get those divots shallower, you want the hands to work out and the club to stay back. Okay, so when in the course, Monty's uh, a great teacher, he's also a player. So when in your, in your own game, when you're starting to hit, you can tell you're starting to take a bigger divot and hit down it, what are some of the personal fixes you do? There's one. Okay. This is the one that, you know, Monty, I don't like that. I don't, that doesn't make it tough. This is the one that you got to do. Yeah. You just have to picture the shaft. I mean, you don't want to be going like dropping, you know, yeah. everybody wants to drop to shallow it out. What you got to do is, is you got to learn to get the hands to work out and the shaft to work more horizontal. Hands out, he uh, club head back? Correct. Okay. Okay, so like the normal move that hits it steep, which is something you're real familiar with, mm -hmm. is you go like this. Yep. You pull straight down, okay? Yeah. That's gonna be super, super steep. Okay. So everyone says, you know, oh, just drop it in the slots like Sergio. Well, Sergio's super, super steep. Yeah. He hits down like four degrees mm -hmm. on his driver. Yep. So what you want is that. Okay. Okay? So the hands work out as the shaft gets horizontal. So when I'm doing this, I'm gonna to try to be pretty disciplined and only hit this about, as a seven iron, I'm gonna hit about 80 yards, hopefully. See, that was a good start. Okay. Here's the important part about that. You yanking on the shaft really, or yanking on the grip really hard, that's a power move for you. At yeah. least you think it, your body it thinks it is. It feels like that's gonna do something. Right. Yeah. So if you're trying to hit the ball too hard, you're going to do that no matter how hard you try. Okay. Whereas when you're hitting this little shot, you're not as apt to do that. No real problem. So uh, because I want to be able to do this at the full swing, is it just like we've talked about before? Hit where... eight billion of these and then just make mm -hmm. a full swing. So Monty has told me before and he's told you guys as well on his channel, youtube.com slash hit it long, that you almost can't do too many uh, left arm parallel to Right on parallel shots, huh? No. It's just and, and such not, a good and drill. And not just the short swing, but like half speed as well. See? Now you can feel what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And generally speaking, people's swing faults are their bodies misinterpreting what creates club head speed. Okay. So the harder you try yes. to hit it, the more you're going to initiate your swing faults. Yeah, you feel in your body as though this is going to... Right. So how do we match up the reality of what actually creates the speed with the reality of the universe we're actually See, that was in. you pulling straight yeah, down yeah, I was with talking as I was doing it. Okay. So how do we match up the things that actually create speed with what we're doing in our body? Well, what you do is you just train a new motor program in the short swings and then steadily it works its way into the full swing. See, that was much better. Yeah, notice and that actually, my body moved too. Yeah, notice how you didn't dig yeah. very deep. I in. had a good transition, so my body could actually do something through the Correct. shot rather than bad transition, the body has to be dead, and then I finish. Correct. Yeah. Show us, Monty, because I... See, I... I see you do it. See, see this, this is a big problem for me because I was taught as a teenager to yank on the handle really yep. hard, mm -hmm. okay? So, you know, I... I it, it, this is something that I practice a lot. So I go to here, and then I'm going to try to go like that, okay? Yeah. Okay? See, I mean, I hit a nice little six iron about 50, 60 yards, and I, I mean, I barely even brush the turf. All right, so we're fast-forwarding through about one or two weeks of work, but I'm going to try to hit a full swing shot here. 
with a little bit less of a divot. So really in my train, I'm going to try to have my transition more like this, huh, Monty? Yep. Hands out the club that way. So it's this. Yeah, see, it's the opposite of what we're taught. Yeah. Golf is taught, okay, here's what's really, really bad. Let's do the opposite. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay? So to me, there's two bad moves you can make. There's the hands go down, pull on the club, and the shaft gets very vertical. Mm -hmm. And then the hands and the shaft drop behind you like this. Yeah. Both of those are equally horrible. Yeah. They're just going to give you two different <laughs> results. We want the hands to come out as the club stays back. That's really and if, cool. And if you watch, 95% of the guys on the tour work that way. You know, the classic example is Sam Sneed. Sam Sneed's, if, if, if Sam Sneed were an amateur golfer and went to a pro, oh, look how over the top he is because his hand path is out and above his backswing. But watch what a great position he gets that shaft in. So here. Nice. Okay. That was deep because you moved your head forward. Okay, got gotcha. you. Stay back. There you go. There we go. That was good. I like nice. that. Nice. Seems pretty easy. Uh, guys, you can see Monty at youtube.com slash hit it long. All right, this is it. We're all getting involved. Go to uh, the link in the description below. I'm going to have a team. My team, the name of my team is Be Better Golf on DraftKings. And uh, yeah, get involved. We're, uh, they're having a big contest. All right, this is the big contest. I didn't have all the details when I made that video. I do now. All right, so it's the $3.146 million fantasy golf millionaire thing. Somebody, the top number one person in this fantasy golf contest, is going to win a million dollars. I'd be thrilled if it was a Be Better Golfer. Even more thrilled if it was me, obviously. But somebody is going to win a million dollars, the top person. So... How cool would it be if it was a Be Better Golfer? So all you do is um, there are going to be more than 25,000 entries that will win money, guaranteed. It's $33 to enter on DraftKings and simply select a team of six golfers to play. Uh, the first prize is going to be a million bucks. That's amazing. And uh, over three million in total prizes. All right, so you have to enter it before the first tee time goes off on Thursday morning for the third major of the year, so which is coming up, I think, just next week. So be sure to uh, get involved. If you're interested, go to DraftKings. There's a link in the description below. There's a link for it in the description below. Use that link and look for my username, Be Better Golf. And once it all starts, we can compare notes and see how our teams did, our team of teams of six golfers. All right. Thanks for uh, checking that out, guys. Thanks for watching the video. This video, there were some problems with it. Something got corrupted or something in the in the main camera file. Luckily, we had the GoPro file as a backup. Huge thank you to Monty for taking the time, and I'll talk to you guys later.